Holding steady, key coronavirus numbers here in Maryland remain stable. Although there are more than 33,000 confirmed cases, the number of people in the hospital is down once again. Hello, everyone. I'm Nicole Baker. Those numbers are what Governor Hogan is focusing on as he weighs in on when phase one of reopening could actually begin. WJZ is live with extensive coverage. We begin with investigator Mike Helgren in the Baltimore zip code with the most cases. Mike. Nicole Canton 21224. This actually encompasses a fairly large area, including several southeast Baltimore neighborhoods, and it stretches into Baltimore County. You can see here in the Canton Square, Captain O'Donnell is still wearing his mask. This week, the governor is expected to announce a decision on when to start reopening the state. And a key indicator, the number of people hospitalized has dropped significantly today with 96 fewer people in acute and intensive care beds. Here's what Hogan said last week. I'm not committing to it because the numbers could spike back up and we say, sorry, we're not moving forward. The Baltimore area zip code with the highest number of cases is 21224, which includes Canton and Patterson Park. It's eighth in the state with 507 cases. Prince George's County continues to lead Maryland in both cases and deaths. The pandemic has hit families in the pocketbook. Save Mark Grocery Store in Riverdale Park organized a food giveaway. I'm hoping that with all the 30 million people out of work in 1.1 in this area that we could get back to work to what life used to be. Over the weekend, the beach and boardwalk reopened in Ocean City with many out of area visitors, although the governor's stay at home order remains in effect. And it's going to take a little bit of time trying to see what's going to work and what's not going to work, but I think people are willing to, to make the adjustments so we can start moving forward from here. I mean, we couldn't keep staying in the same spot. And back here in southeast Baltimore, a lot of businesses are hurting. Tomorrow there's a Senate hearing and more than a thousand people have signed up to talk to lawmakers about problems with the state's unemployment system. Reporting live in Canton, Mike Helgren, WJZ.